Hey guys, at BV Matson here. Time to strip some kind of silver spray paint off of this front fender off of 7172, I think, uh, CL350 motorcycle. You look close, you can see there's some chrome underneath here that I think we'll be able to polish up. But first, we gotta get this mess off of here. Somebody just rattle canned this with a silver paint. Didn't want to do the polishing, maybe. Or maybe there's some real nasty stuff hidden down underneath. Either way, we're going to find out. Get the acetone, get some shop rags, have a respirator, because this stuff is nasty. And don't forget a pair of gloves. All right, respirator on. Because again, that acetone, it's got a little bit of an odor. So hopefully you guys can still hear me. And then I'm going to take off any kind of valuables. <laughs> off of my body here. And then, what we can do is get our gloves on, man. Don't forget the gloves on this stuff. You will be sorry <laughs> if you forget that. So, put the gloves on. Heavy duty uh, shot paper towels tends to work a little bit better than just your normal run of the mill kind of household stuff. Next thing, just grab your acetone. And I'm hoping this is gonna strip off of here relatively easily. So let's just take a little bit. Let's do a test spot. See what happens. I always remember put that lid back on. But let's just hit this spot. See if this acetone will knock out some of this nasty, gross silver spray paint. And yep, it's coming right off. I'm really curious to see what is going to be underneath here. I'm really curious to see, but as you can see, we're pulling off that silver spray paint. Hate to say it, guys. It's gonna take a little bit of elbow grease, I think, to get this thing all the way completed. It's not like a paint stripper, all right? It's not gonna go like, you know, like you dump on some bubbling paint stripper and it's gonna come off. You're just gonna have to spend some time. Let's hope that it's nice and shiny underneath all of this gross, gross paint because our bike needs a front fender. I'm gonna show you why. So I thought I had it made. <laughs> thought I had a good front fender that we're gonna use. This thing's in really, really great shape. But remember, I'm converting a CB to a CL. And uh, when I tried to fit this, my boots were, my fork boots were jamming into the side. And sure enough, if you take a closer look, CL fenders, I have a little indentation for those boots. So I had to hit up eBay to go and find a solution to that. And, you know, I didn't want to spend buku bucks. So, you know, spend a little, don't get a ton. So, uh, <laughs> you know, but we've got the right shape. Worst case scenario, I could always, you know, strip this and clean this out really properly and then paint it black. But I am going to try and see if we can knock some of this stuff out with the buffing wheel and things like that. So we will see, but just heads up, if you're trying to convert over to, uh, you know, a CB over to a CL, you're gonna need a different front fender. Well, this is gonna take some work. <laughs> Look at all these scratches underneath this paint. No wonder somebody just decided to rattle can the darn thing. But, you know, the acetone is working really, really well. Um, it's nice, you know, nice, easy, and, uh, it's coming off of there. It's not very hard at all. So like here's this little section. Look at that, it's literally almost like a dry erase board. And acetone knocks it right out. I am really curious to see if I'm gonna be able to polish this out and at least make it look respectable because the rest of that bike right now is just flawless. And I'm hoping I can kind of get away with one by getting this going, but look at that, it's coming right off. Oops. We'll just keep on working this. All right, still working this part. It really hasn't been too long. I'm gonna be working on it for five minutes or so. Kind of down to the side section here, just trying to clean all this up as best as I can. This is gonna be a polishing extravaganza, I think, guys. <laughs> if we can polish this up, we can pretty much save any part that we ever run across. <clears throat> then I took a took a little bit of a, a chance, a stab at the dark. I, I saw the part on eBay, and I was like, man, that looks like that might have just been rattle can. 
let's get it. It's like 20 bucks, really cheap. So it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But we gotta knock off all this damn silver paint. Well, <laughs> this is what we got left at the end of the day right here. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull this off. This is salvageable. And uh, this is gonna be the ultimate test of seeing, can we polish it? Can we make it look okay? I'm really excited to actually try. Um, on the other side here, it's pretty rusty. So I'm just gonna take that, throw that into my sandblaster and uh, clean this out. And then I'll do kind of a rubber undercoating on this to make sure that that's protected for the long haul. But guys, a lot of times you're gonna run into these parts, you know, that somebody just rattle canned. And I'm telling you, acetone works very, very well. Um, again, it's, it almost just feels like you're, you're uh, do, wiping down a dry erase board. Comes off really, really easily. So I'm gonna keep going on this fender, see what happens. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, I was hoping it was gonna be just like beautiful underneath and you know, my expectations may have been a little bit flawed. <laughs> thanks so much for watching guys. I hope that helps you out. Uh, thanks for watching the videos and uh, be sure to subscribe if you haven't done that already. Uh, thumbs up those videos. And also if you wanna support the channel, be sure to share. We'll see you in the next video or live stream.